Uh, okay, so in this video we're looking at finding the mean from a frequency distribution table. Uh, we're jumping back into stats here, so you might be a bit rusty. Uh, but it's pretty straightforward. There's a series of steps you follow. You fill in a table, you come up with some maths, and you get an answer. Uh, now let's look at a question that you might get. Uh, now you're going to get an, an X column. Uh, and an F column, F for frequency, and the X, that's the thing that we're, we're talking about. Now with this particular question, we're looking at number of people living in a house. Uh, so one, pe one person, so one person living by themselves, you can see that that's uh, seven houses. Seven houses have one, pe one person in them. Nine houses have two people in them. Uh, Twelve houses have three people in them. Eight houses have four people in them, and three houses have five people in them. So this is how a frequency distribution table works. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward here. Now there should be a total down the bottom here. Uh, it'd be handy to know how many houses were actually uh, surveyed. So add those numbers together, and we should get an answer. Okay, it looks like there were 39 houses in total uh, that were surveyed. Okay, so seven houses, one person, nine houses, two people, 12 houses, three people, eight houses, four people, three houses, five people. Now, in order for us to find the mean, uh, now that's what we'd, we're here to do. We're finding the, the average number of people in a house for this particular question. Uh, we need to create a third column in our frequency distribution table called XF. Now, the XF column is really, really simple. You just multiply this number by this number. So 1 times 7 is 7, 2 times 9 is 18, 3 times 12 is 36, 4 times 8 is 32, and 5 times 3 is 15. Now you're going to need to get your calculator out because you're also going to need a total down uh, here. Okay, so that gives me a total of 108. Uh, now pretty much, now that we've got our, our third column here, our XF column, and we've come up with this, these two numbers here are the really, really important numbers. The total frequency, 39th, so that was the number of houses we survey, and 108, which is actually the total number of people altogether. So there were uh, seven houses with one person, nine houses with two people, etc., etc., etc. Okay, here's our formula, the really important thing from today's lesson, I guess. The mean is equal to the sum of xf. That's this thing here. That means all of the num all of the XF numbers added together divided by uh, n, and that's this number here. So the sum of all of the XFs, boom, 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 is this number, 108, and we're going to divide it by this number, 39. Again, you're going to need to get your calculator out. 108 divided by 39. That gives us an answer of uh, approximately 2.78. Now, it's important that you understand what that uh, number means. I'm just going to move this over here. Okay, it's important that you understand what that number means. 2.78 means that the average number of people in a house is 2.78. Okay, so this has been finding the mean from a frequency distribution table. It's fairly easy. Find your X and your F column down here, down here. Draw a third column called the XF column. Da, 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 da. Fill in your totals here and here, this number and this number, and then just use this formula. Mean is equal to this number, sum of XF, divided by this number, which was N. That gives us a total of 2.78. Okay, so this is uh, calculating the mean from a frequency distribution table.